With 30 seasons, some crazy stories, and a whole lot of content to sift through, the Simpsons fan base has come up with some pretty crazy theories over the years. From time traveling to revealing dark secrets, buckle up and join us on a wild monorail ride through Springfield as we unload these crazy ideas about Homer and his family. One of the greatest Simpsons mysteries and cliffhangers was the two-part special, Who Shot Mr. Burns? While the show tried to convince us otherwise that it was Maggie, there are some believers who point the yellow finger towards Marge. So why did Mr. Burns throw the baby under the bus? Well, he knew Maggie wouldn't get arrested or in any serious trouble for the attempted murder. He chose to protect Marge because, as seen in previous episodes, he's in love with her. Even if he can't have her, he saved her from a prison sentence. In the episode H-O-M-R, we learn Homer has a crayon stuffed in his brain, and the removal of the crayon turns him into a super genius. But what if the whole family were geniuses? We already know about Lisa's high IQ. Marge focuses on taking care of her family instead of showing off. Maggie is shown way above normal expectations and advancements for a baby her age. And Bart has the ability to be smart, but chooses to slack off to help get through school with more fun. A flash forward to the future showcases Bart's career as a chief justice. For 30 years, The Simpsons has not aged. Well, everyone in Springfield, anyway. Characters who leave Springfield advance, age, and even expand their families. Just look at the Italian Bob episode, where Sideshow Bob is a little older, with kids and families of his own. The city of Springfield is stuck in some sort of tesseract, where time does not change. But the city is able to adapt with new technology, and advancements are brought in. And speaking of time, one of the biggest theories about the show would place the whole thing on an endless time loop that would no doubt confuse Homer to no end. A theory has gone around stating that the show will end with scenes from the very first episode, linking the beginning to the end in a complete circle, and creating even more theories than ABC's Lost. Simpsons producer Al Jean has even discussed this theory in detail, hinting at it, if the show ever does end, maybe by season 50. Nelson leads a life of no good, constantly causing trouble and doing nothing to help his future. A theory explains he grows up to turn into Barney, but wants to go back in the past and warn his former self to make positive changes for the future. Professor Frank helps him travel through time under the fake name Barney, but before he can complete his mission, he travels into Moe's Tavern, gets drunk, and forgets his mission, along with everything about the future, or that his original name was Nelson. To help some diversity on the show, rumors sparked for years that Waylon Smithers was originally supposed to be African-American and feature blue hair. A version of these darker tones can be seen in the episode Homer's Odyssey. The theorized reason for the change to yellow skin was he was too much of a servant to Mr. Burns, and making him African-American didn't feel right. But producers dispute this claim, saying the strange coloring in Homer's Odyssey was just a production error. Is there a long-lost episode of The Simpsons? One so dark they refuse to air? Well, that's the creepypasta which has been spread over the internet in the past several years. Footage has even showed up online where it looks like a dead Bart Simpson lies in a casket. The rumors and theories have built up for so many years that The Simpsons creators did a little nod to it in the season 30 premiere episode entitled, Bart's Not Dead. Maude Flanders may have suffered a terrible death at the hands of some flying t-shirts, but was her whole life a lie anyway? Watching back on her life with Ned Flanders, many fans have pointed out she never really cared when Ned was injured, in danger, or even on the brink of death. One of the classic gags on the show features Bart prank calling Moe's tavern and fooling the owner time and time again. But what if Moe isn't the biggest fool he's made out to be and is actually in on the joke? Moe has a lot of affection for the whole Simpsons family, and there's no harm done in giving Bart a little entertainment now and then. Plus, after all these years, you'd think he would at least have caller ID. Even for a cartoon, the early seasons of The Simpsons were pretty grounded, but after a few seasons, things got a little more outlandish and unrealistic. One extremely popular theory states that when Homer fell into a coma in the episode So It's Come to This, a Simpsons clip show, the rest of the series actually takes place in his head while he lies in a vegetative state. It helps explain the characters not aging and some of the crazier plots like Homer going into outer space. When he wakes up from his coma, it will mark the end of the series. Krusty the Clown may be one of the worst clowns around, but is it all just a gag? The Krusty the Clown show may have fans in the form of Bart and Lisa Simpson, but is the actual show molded after variety shows like Saturday Night Live? Well, this would help explain the random celebrity guests, Krusty's depressive attitude, and the super violent cartoon shorts like Itchy and Scratchy. Krusty's show only lasts as long as it does, because there are plenty of adults tuning in for the laughs. 
One of the most unique episodes of The Simpsons has to be Season 7's 22 short films about Springfield. In one short, Principal Skinner invites Superintendent Chalmers over for a meal, but burns the roast! He sneaks over to Krusty Burger and infamously calls his replacement meal, Steamed Hams! Many people pondered why Skinner would burn the roast in the first place, and the answer is found right in the short. Upon Chalmers' arrival, he claims he's late from Bad Directions, so obviously Skinner was waiting to take the roast out until the superintendent arrived not expecting him to be so late. For 30 seasons, the bumbling and incompetent Homer Simpson has been working as the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant Safety Inspector. But how in the world does he keep his job for so long? One theory keeps things pretty simple. Mr. Burns wants him in the position because he doesn't care about the safety. A true professional would notice all types of violations and problems, leading to major expenses and upgrades for the power plant. Paying Homer to essentially do nothing saves him a ton of money in the long run. And speaking of Homer, when he's not actually working at the plant, he's typically up to no good, and hurting himself in the process. How can Homer be so reckless over and over again? Well, fans theorize the crazy father of three knows he's a cartoon, pretty much because God told him so. Of course, Homer keeps this secret from others, and uses the dimensions of a cartoon to get away with a lot of things he wouldn't have otherwise done in the real world. Not too many characters have perished on The Simpsons, but one of the saddest deaths may be Bleeding Gums Murphy, the jazz musician Lisa connected with early on in the series. His death was never explained on the show, but multiple theories have popped up that Murphy died of an overdose. The first clues point to the character being based off famous jazz musicians with their own history of drug abuse, and Murphy showcased an addictive personality on the show, in the form of expensive Fabergé eggs. What the future hold for Bart the Prankster? Well, if some of his theories come true, then he will actually become the creator and writer of The Simpsons. Making a show within a show, Bart would write a cartoon based upon his family and the crazy hijinks of Springfield. The whole idea makes sense, considering Matt Grenning based The Simpsons' family off his own sisters and parents while growing up. Time for another Flash Forward episode to confirm it's true! So if Bart is the eventual creator of the show, have we already seen some of his episodes? Well, in one of the earliest Treehouse of Horror episodes, Bart is the one to narrate and create the alien creatures known as Kang and Kodos. It's pretty safe to say that any episode they appear in are a part of Bart's fanfiction. And Bart may have even written one of the biggest pieces of fanfiction of all, the Simpsons and Futurama crossover episode. How can The Simpsons afford to live a lifestyle where they travel the world, start all types of new careers, and never seem to worry about money? Well, besides being just a cartoon, Homer's bank account may be more loaded than any of us suspecting. One of the main reasons? Well, he was given complete ownership of the Denver Broncos, a team valued at over $1 billion. Homer was also a part of the barbershop quartet known as the B-Sharps, and could still be collecting some royalties thanks to their releases. We've seen The Simpsons cross over with shows like Futurama and Family Guy, but what if the show was connected to a Nicktoon, specifically Hey Arnold? In an episode of the show, a quick shot at a police station shows a wanted picture for Sideshow Bob, and even features his trademark yellow skin. Maybe when Bob isn't wreaking havoc on Springfield, he's hiding out in one of the apartments in Arnold's building. It also helps that The Simpsons creator Matt Grenning is the brother-in-law to Hey Arnold creator Craig Bartlett. The greatest debate about The Simpsons will always be about which state the family actually lives in. Maybe we have never had a clear answer, because there isn't one. In the episode Trash of the Titans, the show has shown they have the ability to move everything and settle down in a new area. So what if all this time, they're just going from state to state, establishing themselves as a new Springfield each time? We've met Krusty's daughter Sophie over the years, but what if he has another child, a son named Handsome Pete? In an episode when Lisa and Bart go to look for Krusty, they are led to Handsome Pete, a boy by the docks who plays the accordion for Nichols. The boy bears a striking resemblance to the real Krusty, making us wonder how long he spent at the docks. Krusty went years not knowing about Sophie, so maybe a big reveal about Handsome Pete will be in the future. One of the great side characters on The Simpsons is the old and frail Mole Man. We've seen him all over town, but is really him every time? Considering the torment and abuse he's suffered over the years, we can't imagine it being just one old guy. One theory proposes that the Mole Man is actually a large group of clones, and everyone we see is a completely different person. Time for the show to reveal their underground lair. 
In one of early season episodes of The Simpsons, Bart switches his IQ test with Martin's and gets sent to a school for the gifted. In the end, both students are left in Springfield Elementary. So did Bart's move ruin Martin's life? Well, in one of the future episodes, it's revealed that Martin lives a lonely and isolated life, trapped in the basement of Springfield Elementary forever. We wonder how things would have turned out if he went to that school. In one of the saddest Simpsons theories out there, we put the focus on Marge, the loving mother and wife of the Simpsons clan. When looking back at things, Marge truly has no friends. She has her sisters, but their relationship has been pretty strained over the years. And the friend she did have and share scenes with was Maude Flanders, someone who has been passed away for several years now. When you really break things down, Marge truly has no one outside of her family. Bart has had many crushes and girlfriends over the years, but the hidden clues and details on the show have pointed to a big theory. Bart is gay, but has not yet come out of the closet or even realized it himself. One moment in the ha ha couple had us questioning Bart's preferences. At the end of the episode, Bart hugs Nelson's vest, in a visual reference to the film Brokeback Mountain. All right, let's hear it. What theories are wrong, dumb, or make little sense? Which ones are the most likely to be true? Are there any crazy Simpson theories we missed? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant for more great content.